As moms, these three women focused on everyone else, but now it's their turn. Get ready to share this journey with them and start thinking about making it your turn too. Meet Nicole, a healthy living, active mom who wanted to gain breast fullness and still keep it subtle. Hey guys, we're here for my consultation and I brought my friend Jenny. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it. Thank you. Hi. How are you? Good. Here for my appointment. Okay, if I can have you sign in, sure. the doctor will be right with you. Hi, Nicole. Hi. It's great to see you today. Good to see you too. Thank you. Thank you so much for coming in. Yeah, you bet. I'm really excited to talk to you today about uh, your choice to have breast augmentation surgery. Can you tell me a little bit about your concerns and uh, yeah. what you'd like to talk about? Um, basically, after I had my kid, I went from a, a small B to a 38G and then back down wow. to, yeah, okay. a lot to like an A situation. So there's just a lot of skin and I just don't think that my chest matches the rest of my body. Okay. This I'll tell you is a really common concern for young ladies who've been in your position. Yeah. Um, what we'd like to do is to uh, measure you and we do what's called a biodimensional analysis of your tissues. Okay. Great. Is it okay if I just take a look and yeah. then uh, Rochelle is gonna help me in terms of the measurements. Sure. Do you mind standing? And then what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna take a look. Is, is that okay if mm -hmm. we uh, take this out? Okay, great. So what we'll do is we're just gonna do a little bit of measuring here. And left nipple is 20, right nipple is 20. And the base width is around 11.5 centimeters. Nicole, there are some really great choices on implants available. There are saline implants, there are silicone gel implants. We really, really think that a silicone gel implant with your tissue type is probably going to be the best fit. Okay. As far as sizing goes, really, it's very important that we uh, understand your aspirations and goals, and we sort of touched on that. Again, part of determining what size you ultimately select, I'll help guide you. I'll, I'll make a recommendation in terms of what I think would probably be the best fit, given what you've uh, shared with me. Sounds great. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. Thank you. You're welcome. It was so nice meeting you, Nicole. Yeah. So I'll definitely be in touch. Okay. And please let us know if you have any questions. All right. And it was thanks. nice meeting thanks. you, too. Thank you. Okay, have a great day, ladies. Do you think you're going to do it? I, I think so. I still need to think about it, though. Natrell silicone filled breast implants important information. Who may get breast implants? Indications. Natrell silicone filled Natrell Inspira and Natrell 410 shaped gel breast implants are approved for women for the following. Breast augmentation for women at least 22 years old for silicone filled implants. Breast augmentation includes primary breast augmentation to increased breast size as well as revision surgery to correct or improve the result of a primary breast augmentation surgery. Important safety information. Who should not get breast implants? Contraindications. Women with active infection anywhere in their body. Women with existing cancer or precancer of their breast who have not received adequate treatment for those conditions. Women who are currently pregnant or nursing. What else should I consider? Warnings. Breast implants are not lifetime devices and not necessarily a one-time surgery. Many of the changes to your breasts following implantation cannot be undone. If you later choose to have your implants removed and not replaced, you may experience unacceptable dimpling, puckering, wrinkling, or other cosmetic changes of the breast, which may be permanent. Breast implants may affect your ability to breastfeed either by reducing or eliminating milk production. Rupture of a silicone-filled breast implant is most often silent and may not be detected by you or your doctor. You should have an MRI three years after your surgery and then every two years after that for as long as you have your breast implants to determine if rupture is present. If implant rupture is noted on an MRI, you should have the implant removed with or without replacement. 
With breast implants, a routine screening mammography and self-examinations for breast cancer will be more difficult. Ask your doctor to help you distinguish the implant from your breast tissue. Symptoms of a ruptured implant may be hard knots or lumps surrounding the implant or in the armpit, change or loss of size or shape of the breast or implant, pain, tingling, swelling, numbness, burning or hardening. Tell your doctor of these symptoms and remove ruptured implants. Inform any other doctor who treats you of the presence of your implants to minimize the risk of damage to the implants. What types of conditions require more study? Precautions. Caution. Notify your doctor if you have any of the following conditions, as the risks of breast implant surgery may be higher. Autoimmune diseases, for example, lupus and scleroderma. A weakened immune system, for example, currently taking drugs that weaken the body's natural resistance to disease. Planned chemotherapy following breast implant placement. Planned radiation therapy to the breast following breast implant placement. Conditions that interfere with wound healing and blood clotting. Reduced blood supply to breast tissue. Clinical diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders, including body dysmorphic disorder and eating disorders. Please discuss any history of mental health disorders with your surgeon prior to surgery. Patients with a diagnosis of depression or other mental health disorders should wait for resolution or stabilization of these conditions prior to undergoing breast implantation surgery. What are some complications with breast implants? Complications. Key complications are reoperation, implant removal with or without replacement, implant rupture, and severe capsular contracture, severe scar tissue around the implant. Other complications include asymmetry, nipple, breast, skin sensation changes, scarring or wrinkling, rippling. Talk to your doctor about other complications. Talk to your doctor. For more information, see the patient brochures at www.allergan.com slash labeling slash usa.htm or call the Allergan product support line at 1-800-433-8871. To report a problem with Natrell silicone filled, Natrell Inspira and Natrell 410 shaped gel breast implants, please call Allergan product surveillance at 1-800-624-4261. Natrell Silicone Filled, Natrell Inspira, and Natrell 410 Shaped Gel Breast Implants are available by prescription only.